has put gifts and calls on every single one of your lives that are different and unique. And he has put you in this place at this time for a very specific reason. So we have to be really aware of what it is that he has for us to do, who it is that he's called us to be. If nothing else, we're called to be sons and daughters. If nothing else, we show the world love by learning how to be really good sons and daughters. That's a great job to have. If that's the only job you know you have, do it well. Be blessed. You have done your job. Be a great son. Be a great daughter. But the truth is, as we walk in relationship with him, he is going to give you vision. He is going to give you plans. He is going to reveal his purposes and, and, and pieces of your destiny for you so that you can choose to step into co-laboring with him. We have to be awake to it. We have to be ready and excited to accept. Do you accept this mission? <laughs> And we can't afford to get too far down the line in our individual missions, offering up our gifts and our talents to serve the Lord. We can't afford to get too far down that line without remembering why we began it in the first place. It's such a big deal. It's such a big deal. The entire planet needs you to know your why. The entire planet needs you to be really okay with who God made you to be and really excited about stepping up to that plate every single day. The entire planet needs you to remember that time that you were weeping on the front row because you were undone by his goodness for the first time. The whole planet needs you to remember your why every day, every day. So we're gonna pray for that tonight, an anointing for remembering our why. Holy Spirit, would you God, would you bless us with a supernatural anointing to keep before us in our vision the reason for our being, God? Would we not forget? Lord, we wanna be like David. We wanna be like your son, Jesus, that no matter the circumstance, no matter the trial, chose intimacy every time. God, thank you for teaching us. Thank you for teaching us how to say yes to you and how to come back to a place of intimacy through repentance. God, I just break off, in Jesus' name, I break off any amount of shame or guilt associated with whatever rough road anybody in this room has walked. And I speak over you tonight, in Jesus' name, because of his blood, you are welcome to come back into an intimate connection with your Father. He is so excited to remind you of your why. And for people in this room tonight, who have never understood why they're alive. Holy Spirit, I pray that you would come even tonight, Father, and give them a download of what it is that you've created them for, that you've created them for an intimate relationship with you, God. That the plans and purposes you have for them are beyond exciting and amazing that you've actually put greatness inside of each one here, God. I pray that that would ring true in our hearts. Thank you, God, for creating us in your image. Thank you, God, that the gifts and talents that you've given each one of us are pieces of you. God, I pray that you would give us confidence to walk in the person that you've created us to be. Confident, confident, confident that no matter the trial, we can come back to intimacy with you, God. We thank you for being such a good father. We thank you for being such a good father. And God, in this season in particular, as schedules get busy, as lives get wild, as plans are made, and as work increases, and as favor increases, and opportunities, God, would you remind us of our why, God? Remind us of our why. We love you, Lord. We bless your name. We thank you so much for being such a good dad. In Jesus' name, amen.